क्वेश्चन ट्वेंटी थ्री फाइंड द डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन ऑफ ऑल पैराबोलास ऑफ लैक्टस रेक्टम फोर ए एंड एक्सिस पैरल टू वाई एक्सिस फैमिली ऑफ कर्व इज पैराबोलास ऑफ लैक्टस रेक्टम फोर ए एंड एक्सिस पैरल टू वाई एक्सिस फर्स्ट वी नीड टू फॉर्म द इक्वेशन टू फॉर्म द इक्वेशन वी शुड नो Uh, to write the equations of parabola uh, for those who don't remember let's quickly recap some details of parabola so this is the equation uh, this is a parabola with axis parallel to x axis here the axis of parabola is x axis itself um parabola is nothing but the locus of all points that are at fixed distance from a point called focus here a0 is focus and uh, um, um, from a fixed straight line called a directrix this line is called a directrix so every point in parabola here p x y will be equidistant from a fixed point focus and a fixed straight line called directrix if we take this origin as the point another point this distance of focus uh, this a this distance a uh, it will be same as the distance to the directrix a so every point if we, every point in the uh, parabola will be equidistant from focus and directrix so uh and other terms are axis uh, this line uh, the line that sp uh, symmetrically splits the divides the parabola is called axis uh this is axis axis of parabola and this is directrix and this point origin this is the vertex uh these are the terms are oh, okay there is one more term lactus rectum lactus rectum is defined as a chord that is perpendicular to the x axis uh, so, so, sorry perpendicular to the axis uh, and pass uh, passing through focus so it will be something like uh, sorry something like this uh, so this line this chord is called the lactus rectum this chord is called a lactus rectum it is passing through focus lactus rectum uh and its length um will be 4a when the focus is a and this distance from vertex to focus is a um this point will be um a 2a and a minus 2a so length will be 4a the length of uh, lactus rectum will be 4a and um Uh, it is defined as the chord that is perpendicular to the axis and passing through focus so this is the case of a parabola that is that uh, that is having its axis parallel to x axis there uh, in standard form you you can have four configurations uh, where first here uh, this is the one we just saw first one now this is a parabola with axis parallel to y axis and this is a uh, this is a parabola which opens to the negative quadrant uh, if you compare you can see the if you compare the equations you can see there is an additional negative sign here uh, and similarly for a parabola that uh, uh, that uh, that has an axis parallel to y axis it can either open to the positive quadrant or the negative quadrant so th that is the uh, four case cases so if we see uh, the equation equation of a standard uh, if a parabola uh, with its vertex at origin and uh, with its axis parallel to x uh, with its axis as x axis will be in the form y square is equal to 4ax similarly for a parabola that have axis uh, as y, y axis will have an equation x square is equal to 4ay uh, this you can see 
for any given point of x when we substitute some value for x uh, it will have two values one positive and one negative say for this x it will have two values one positive and negative uh, so we can just uh, keeping that in mind we can see whether <coughs> the equation of the parabola is whether y square is equal to 4x or x square is equal to 4a y <coughs> uh, here if you see for a when x is equal to a y square is equal to 4a that gives y is equal to plus or minus 2a that is why the length of the lattice rectum is 4a when uh, i am talking about the lattice rectum the code when x is equal to a it will have y equal to plus or minus 2a that is a 2a a minus 2a so similarly in this configuration when y equal to a if we plug in y equal to a x will have plus or minus 2a so this is the lattice rectum it will have 2a a and minus 2a a as it at uh, these points uh, and the length will be 4a so our question deals with this configuration and our equation will be like this only and uh, in this case the vertex is taken as origin or 0 0 and this the, uh, this equation can be slightly modified into x minus h the whole square equal to 4a into y minus k when the vertex is at h k so this, this is a slightly modified term this uh, this, uh, this equation uh, is a slightly modified equation uh, th this equation is when the vertex is at 0 0 when we translate the vertex to an hk point the equation transforms into x minus h the whole square is equal to 4a into y minus k uh, similarly here it becomes y minus k the whole square equal to 4a into x minus h so this is a quick recap to the various terms associated with para parabola and the equations associated so we will go back to the question question was uh, find the differential equation of all parabolas of lattice rectum 4a and axis parallel to y axis so the configuration in the given question is like this only sorry here we know that axis is parallel to y axis we don't know what its vertex is let it let it be hk so we can form our equation as x uh, for any given y value there will be two values of x so we know that equation will be of the form x minus h the whole square plus y minus k so sorry x minus h the whole square equal to 4a into y minus k so this is the required equation it will have two arbitrary constant h and k a is a fixed constant uh, it given in the question uh, 4a as fixed uh, distance so it is a fixed constant h and k are our arbitrary constants so the required differential equation will be of second order uh, since it has two arbitrary constant we need to differentiate it twice to uh, to eliminate this arbitrary constant so proceeding with that d by dx on one we get 2x minus h equal to 4a into y dash let this be equation 2 we can differentiate the equation 2 with respect to x1 so on 2 we get 2 into d, d, d by dx of x minus h is 1 is equal to uh, 4a y double dash so this can be written as 2a y double dash minus 1 equal to 0 
So this is the required differential equation. Uh, the the difficult part is forming the family of curve. So if if you know the uh, to form the equations of if you are familiar with the equations of parabola, it's straightforward. And this is the required differential equation. It is of second order. And here the a is a fixed constant. So uh, uh, we eliminated the arbitrary constant h and k. And the differential equation of is of second order. So this is the solution to question 23 part A.